Hey guys, welcome back to Misha's Corner and also welcome to my Christmas edition. I started my Thanksgiving edition pretty late so I didn't get to really go in and give you guys more recipes so I'm starting my Christmas edition pretty early. So today I'm making oxtail stew French style. So yeah, let's get started. So I'm going to keep it pretty simple for this stage of the oxtails. I'm going to go in here with some McCormick Total Beef Seasoning. You can find that in any supermarket. And then I'm going to go in here with some salt. You got to really salt your oxtails, guys. So make sure you season your meat, even though it's going to be braising for a long time. And then you're also going to add a lot of black pepper. I'm using coarse, coarsely grounded black pepper. Mix this up, let it marinate, maybe 5 to 10 minutes. Honestly, it really doesn't matter at this point because, again, it's going to be simmering away in this beautiful, beautiful broth. So, yeah, now we're going to move on. All right, so my skillet, my pan is screaming hot. I'm going to add my oxtails in. You're going to brown them up on all sides. Get them nice and golden. I'm only going to put maybe three or four pieces at a time because I really want to darken my oxtail. All right, so I just want to show you all what you're looking for. Do you see how golden this is? Just like that. You want it nice and dark. Not too black. Don't burn it. <laughs> yes. Just like that. So I just wanted to show you guys what I'm going to, going to be deglazing my pan with. I'm going to be using some red wine cabernet and some beef stock. And I'm also going to add some fire roasted tomatoes. So I've been sauteing some onions and garlic for about 12 minutes now. 10 to 12 minutes. And remember guys, all ingredients will be listed below on my website and the link will be in my description box. So now I'm going to add a couple tablespoons of flour down in here. You're going to mix this up and cook it out for two minutes. Alright, so I thought I had my camera going but it wasn't. But anyway, I added a bunch of thyme and one bay leaf and now I'm deglazing the pan with my red wine. We're going to mix this up and allow it to reduce by half. You're going to mix, 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 and allow it to reduce by half. And then we're going to add the beef stock. Alright, so now I'm going to add my beef stock in. I'm probably going to use this whole entire quart. I'm going to mix this up. And I'm going to season this with some salt and some pepper. Now that I have my broth back up to a boil, I'm going to add my fire roasted tomatoes all of it. I'm going to mix this up and I'm going to start adding all my oxtails back in and I'm going to allow this to simmer. It's probably going to take about two to three hours. If you have a crock pot you want to do it in that that's totally fine. If you have a pressure cooker that's totally fine. I'm doing it on the stove because I want to be able to manage the texture of my oxtails. I don't want them to break up. I want them to be tender but not fall off the bone. But if you have a pressure cooker, slow cooker, which is probably even better. Slow cooker is better than go right ahead. See how amazing this broth is? It's like this broth is so amazing. I can't wait until it's cooked. Mmm. So now that we got the oxtail going, simmering away, now I'm going to work on one of the sides for the oxtails. I have my potatoes here peeled and washed up nice and clean. I'm going to grate it on the large side of my grater. And I'm just going to put it and just grate it. <laughs> and then we're going to mix it up, add some spices, some herbs, and we're going to fry them all well saute them until they're nice and crispy so I have my potatoes here nice and peeled and washed I'm gonna grate my all my potatoes in the large side of my grater as you can see right here it's already starting to change color so once you grate one potato at a time you need to drop it into a bowl of cold water while you finish the other potatoes okay guys so these right here are cipollini onions if you can find small shallots if you can't find these you can use shallots i'm just going to steam it with my carrots for about 40 minutes or so i'm just going to put it in my pot with the carrots that i cut into large cubes to this you're going to add some fresh thyme some butter some salt and some pepper you're going to cover this and allow it to steam on medium, like low heat, until the vegetables are nice and tender. I'm also going to add a little bit of water 
once the vegetables brown up a little bit. All right, now we're gonna work on the potatoes. I drained them, dried them, and now I have them in my bowl. To this, I'm gonna add some chopped parsley and thyme, fresh thyme and fresh parsley. I'm gonna go in here with my beaten, beaten eggs. I'm gonna go in here with lots and lots of Parmesan cheese. You can use the cheese that you prefer, but I'm going with the theme of the meal, which is um, what I'm doing, er what I was talking about earlier. And now I'm gonna add some black pepper, lots of it. Um, you can season this however you like, guys. You don't have to take this route. Um, make sure you watch your salt, though, because the Parmesan is salty. You're going to add some all-purpose seasoning and salt. But again, watch your salt because Parmesan is a salty cheese. And I'm just going to mix this up, and we're going to pan fry them. Okay, so this is what my oxtails look like right there. And I have the carrot and the onion that we did earlier in that little pot. These are the potato cakes right here. They're super crispy and delicious. And yep, so I hope you guys enjoyed watching me make this recipe. And I'll see you guys next time on video number two. Okay, guys. Bye.